Hi guys, welcome to a new weekend vlog. Uh, this is a bit of a different one actually just because it's already Sunday and it's already half day on Sunday. Um, I just basically thought I'd do this as a bit more of like a catch up video. I feel like a few things have kind of happened in the last kind of couple of weeks and well even in the last week. So I thought I'd just catch up with you and Friday we obviously had work and then afterwards we we went to see the gentleman at the cinema. Now, I had been wanting to see this for ages, whereas Dan was a bit, like, not really interested. And I eventually got to see it on Friday, and actually it was a little bit of a letdown. I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion, but, yeah, I thought it was going to have a lot more action in it, but it didn't. So, yeah, that was a bit of a shame. I'm going to just put something else to prop my arm up, because I feel like it's quite low. Uh, so, yeah, that was Friday, and it was actually Valentine's Day. Um, we only really tend to do like cards and little things for each other, so I'll show you the nice little tulips Dan bought me. And he bought me a family pack size of mini eggs, so I have not got through those yet, but I love mini eggs. I'll also show you the cards as well, because they're funny. And then yesterday was Saturday, obviously, and I spent most of the day with my friend Lydia. I went round there and we watched um, to all the boys you've loved before, is that what it's called, uh, on Netflix. We both absolutely loved the first one. The sequel is out now, so I went around there and we watched it, and yeah, we really liked it. There was a few moments where we were worried what was going to happen, uh, if you if you liked the first one, but um, yeah, it was good. And in the evening, so last night, we went to Blue Water because um, my laptop has, my MacBook has stopped working, uh, the couple of the keys aren't working so I took that to Apple yesterday and unfortunately they've had to take my MacBook for repair which at first I was like yeah yeah sure but now I've realised that I'm going to really struggle to edit vlogs and I haven't yet edited a weekend vlog for this weekend so I'm going to try and do one on Dan's computer later and try and get it up today but that could be tricky um, and yeah, I basically bought a few things. It was kind of things that I felt like I needed. So I'm quite pleased with what I got. Uh, we had a Byron last night, which was so good. It's like one of our treats and yeah. So I feel like I've kind of caught you up on my weekend, but there was a few things I wanted to show you. So I will show you that now. So I saw two of my friends in the week and one of them is getting married this year and um, she surprised us with these little things which was so exciting. So this was like a pull out little box which is actually a birch box um, and she put my name on it um, and then we all we got these little um, bottles of rosé which is really pretty and in here was all these little cute bits, her photo of me and hers, so it's um, my friend Tina and then these Lind Lindors, all these strawberries and cream. So I'm going to take those out now because um, I can eat those and put this somewhere. And then, so I was like, oh, this is really cute. It's actually a save the date in here, but I'm going to keep that private. So, um, yeah. And then she said, oh, there's something else in here. And then in here, this rolls out and it's like a little message in a bottle and it says will you be my bridesmaid and yeah got a bit emotional because it's just really sweet and um yeah a bit of a surprise so that's very exciting so i'm gonna be a bridesmaid so um yeah it's gonna be really good and yeah i'm really excited um what else did i want to show you um so i also got an email from penguin life which i hadn't heard about before but it's um, an arm of penguin books that is more around kind of well-being and kind of like lifestyle -y books and they wanted to send me this which i'm really excited about so it's this book which is called this too shall pass by julia samuel and i'll leave a link to this um on amazon for you i'm not sure if it's out yet or not um this is an, an advanced uncorrected proof copy so yeah it looks like it won't actually come out until first week end of march so I might try and read that next and they also gave me a little biscuit and so basically two of my favorite things in one so that's great so yeah thank you so much to them this book sounds really 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 interesting it's like um stories of change crisis and hopeful beginnings and like the blurb is just really interesting it's all around people that are having to cope with quite big life changes um and it's told by a therapist and how she's kind of helped people get through stuff and change is a really big thing that I guess I struggle with much like probably a lot of people so yeah it's very up my street and I'm really happy that they sent that to me so 
um, I'm currently reading, I'm not sure if I've said this, but I'm currently reading Anne Frank's diary. I never read this as a younger person, younger person, um, but I always kind of had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to read it. And because we are going to Amsterdam in a couple of weekends time, which I'm not sure when this vlog's going to go up. I'm just trying to think. Um, it might actually be before we go to Amsterdam, so please leave any recommendations in the comment box below. That would be really, really good. But anyway, I really wanted to read this before we went because I want to go to the Anne Frank Museum, which actually reminds me that I need to book it. I'm this way through, so I'm not very far, and I am struggling with it a bit, actually. Um, I thought I'd find it quicker and easier to get through, but I am struggling a bit, so I'm going to keep going with that um, and, yeah, hope that I can read it before we go away. So as I said, we also went to Bloomers last night. I've got a tote bag here full of things that I bought. So I thought I'd just show you um, as a mini haul, basically. So I've got a couple of packs of cotton pads from Primark. And I know, I know, I know, um, I actually do use reusable cotton pads for taking off my makeup every day. Um, but I still like to have these for um, taking off my nail polish. So please let me know what else I can use that maybe is better for the environment. I've tried the, what they called, the little pads, the nail polish remover pads and I just don't like them very much I don't think that they're very good for taking off your nail polish but also I can imagine they're a bit like wipes so they can't also be very good for the environment so yeah let me know what is a better situation I mean I really cut down on normal cotton pads because of using my reusable ones so I don't feel too bad but obviously if I can cut them out completely that'd be great and then what else did I get uh, these aren't like quite as exciting um but I really, I have a roll neck heat tech um, top from Uniqlo, so it comes in these packets, they're, they're like heat tech kind of thermal things, and these were on offer, and I really wanted to get another one because I really like it, and um, as we are going to Amsterdam, I'm really worried it's going to be really freezing, although Dan keeps telling me I'm not going to be that cold, so who knows, and I also got some heat tech leggings because I have got some thermal trousers, but they're quite thick whereas these are quite thin i've never tried the leggings before so hoping they will be good uh talking about amsterdam i also ordered some of the airport bags from ebay they're like a pound of like 10 and i just like to have those so that i can pack all my stuff before i go and i don't have to worry about transferring into one of the bags at the airport because i have tried to put them into the more reusable plastic bags and they tend to just tell me that that's not right so whatever uh what else did i get so i also got this bag which dan said was quite ugly but <laughs> it's from primark and it's I, I don't really know how to explain it but it's got a zip pocket and then another little pocket at the front i bought this for amsterdam as well because i wanted um more of like a practical bag that i could just put everything in there that i need and i have a little rucksack which normally I use all the time however it's not got a zip on it and I just feel like maybe if, if you're in a big city I want something a bit safer that I can have it on the front of my thing uh, so yeah I wanted something practical that I could fit things in like a mini umbrella purse everything I need like my camera and stuff and I didn't really have anything the right size so I'm falling for something that looks kind of practical but these are kind of in at the moment um, and that was from Primark it was six pounds I had ordered one from H&M but it was not as nice actually it had horrible like, pockets at the front and it was really like quite ugly so i'm going to return that and then what else did i get uh, this is the final things um again quite practical but urban outfitters had their sale on which i love i always tend to buy things in their sale they had these gloves which um, are like black and speckly these were five pound in the sale originally 15 so i've got a good bargain there and they are like really soft on the inside so they're really thick and very soft so really warm so i'm very happy with those they did actually have like a nice creamy color but i just felt like i tend to wear like black coats quite a lot i just think i would have looked a little bit like um, a mime artist <laughs> so i got black and then i also got this beanie uh, from urban outfitters as well in their sale which was half price it was 16 down to eight so again a very good purchase and i think it's really really cute i'm not going to put it on right now <laughs> but yeah i like a beanie this is very soft and very i like the color as well so yeah that's my like mini haul um i also wanted to show you um that i don't know if i show you this or not because i might not necessarily keep it but let me just put you on the thing okay i've just put you on my windowsill um so we are also now going to croatia in june 
we wanted to book a holiday and we were really struggling to decide where to go but we finally settled on Croatia and I'm so excited because it's always been on my like bucket list to go there um, so we're actually going for a 10 night trip in early June and we'll be going to Dubrovnik along the coast so we're going to hire a car and drive up the coast then eventually to Split and then do like a few day trips out of Split and then we're also going over to Brack Island as well to bowl so yeah I'm really excited about it um, but I've decided to take a rucksack because we did traveling last year I realized that I can travel out a rucksack and taking a whole suitcase for like a 10 day trip just actually seems to be excessive now so I actually ordered this which is the Osprey Far Point 40 which if you're into rucksacks then you'll probably have heard about it but um, I bought this because it's got a lot of very good reviews it's got a really good um, rucksack bit at the back where you can zip up the, the straps and it's also got a side strap which I don't know if I'll use anyway cut long story short I got it for a very good deal um, on Amazon and this is actually the man's slash the unisex one but I didn't realize until after I bought this that there is actually a specifically one for women which is just slightly smaller I think in the back length and also the straps are slightly built more for a women frame and I am quite short I am five foot so um, I have also now ordered that one to try although I just wanted a plain black one and the girl one isn't plain black it's a funny grey colour with like turquoise bits on it it's just a bit of a shame because I did just want plain black but anyway I've ordered that and I'm going to try it out both to see which one feels more comfortable and then um, if you're interested I think I might do like a packing video for both Amsterdam and Croatia Amsterdam I'll be taking a little suitcase with me because um, I've got like a really small suitcase whereas actually I think that rucksack is going to be too big for Amsterdam um, so yeah let me know if you want a packing video I can kind of talk all a bit more about that because yeah I'm now really into packing stuff and rucksacks and anything like that okay the time is one o'clock but it's actually five to one and I'm very hungry now so I'm going to go and plead with Dan that uh, we can make lunch I'm trying to do that We've just made our lunch, which has got avocado with turkey bacon and gluten-free bed. Bed bread. <laughs> Here are my pretty tulips. I love them so much. Excuse that noise in the background, that's just Dan. Ah, oh, love them. Oh, and this is my card to Dan. <laughs> we love Lou through. And I love this card. I love you through and through. And then he got me this. Let's get saucy. <laughs> love it. Now Dan is just making me a coffee. I'm currently putting together all our photos from our traveling and then I, and yeah, I've got pen all over me and it won't come off. So yeah, I'm putting all my photos as an album. I was gonna try and vlog, but we've realized we can't do it on Dan's lap, uh, computer. So I'm gonna have to have a break from vlogging this weekend, which is really annoying. So that's why there was a gap a few weeks ago when, by the time you watch this. And yeah, I'm currently watching The Stranger whilst I do the photos, which, started off all right but it has got much better but i'll just show you what i've been doing so i bought this photo album from photo uh sorry from paper chase i just quite like plain photo albums um and it's got all of our photos from traveling in here um i have actually been labeling all the backs of the photos to say where they're from and yeah dates and stuff but i've realized that there was this thing in the back of the album and these are actually slots to put in between here of where what the photos are so basically I'm gonna have to go back through all of the album and write it all in I mean I don't have to do it but I think I should do it properly and then I'll be happy um, and then in this pack here is all of the tickets and receipts and stuff that we kept from traveling which I've got another separate scrapbook for so I also want to go through all of that as well and organize that so that I can have one full photo album and also a scrapbook of photos and bits and bobs. It's a bit later now and I've pretty much finished the photo album. Although, annoyingly, while I was doing it, I ended up getting like a bit of pen on some of the photos. So I think I just want to reprint a couple of the photos. And yeah, so it took me quite a long time, but obviously it was quite fun. Uh, I've just been putting dinner on. I won't show you what it is because I feel like we have it quite a lot and I show you quite a lot. It's just like a chicken thigh tray bake. Um, and now I've come downstairs. To, oh, actually, I just watered the plants as well because I needed a good water. So, yeah, that felt good. And I've just come down here to start looking at Amsterdam plans. Um, 
I know like not everyone likes these little books and I have got quite a lot of recommendations from people that either lived there or um yeah just people that have been there quite a lot but there's just something about these little books I love and I love the little map at the back as well so I'm going to go through here and read it and oh yeah I also painted my nails which you can't really see but I did it with this like quite light mauvey colour a lot of you asked me where like my nail polish is from I always tend to use the Rimmel 60 second nail polishes I love them I think they're really really good I don't have time to often sit around waiting for my nails to dry all the time so they do always dry really quickly and they're also really shiny so I've always loved those and they're only like three pound or four pounds so really really good but anyway I feel like I'm talking so fast I'm actually out of breath Oh, I finished The Stranger as well, which did end up being really good. Um, not really like Dan's cup of tea, so I just watched it on my own. But um, yeah, I'm going to start looking through this now. <laughs> 